beloveds welcome to beanie tv where i offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness so i thank you guys so much for supporting and subscribing i feel like i'm almost at 2,000 subscribers and last year i i think in 2014 i had 100 so now to have almost 2,000 um i feel very good and i feel happy and excited sometimes i battle between like Am I a YouTuber? Would you consider me a YouTuber? Am I just... I feel like I just need to do these videos. Um, uh, yeah, like it's... I'm always just in this weird kind of space of like... Like, I'm an actor and I see myself going far with that. And then YouTube is kind of just maybe practice. Um, practice talking to the camera. Practice, you know, putting things that I really feel in my spirit out there. So I kind of, you know battle with that that's just a random random thing it has nothing to do with the video you know what we're talking about today we are talking about my number one go-to beauty secret mm. <laughs> it's great to be beautiful on the inside but we got to look good on the outside too so i think and know that in the um i'm just gonna say people of color community well, maybe, okay, let, maybe it's just, like, blacks and Latinas because I feel like a lot of, like, Koreans, they are super big on skincare and making sure that they are protected from the sun. Um, but with blacks and Latinas, it's this, especially African Americans, it's this thing where, okay, well, we are melanated. Melanin, is, melanin was created to protect from the sun. We don't need sunscreen. That's, that's the beauty product, sunscreen. Um, and that is not true because at the end of the day, you are a human on this earth and the sun is hot. I got to go. I got to go in the house because it's hot. So, yes, your, your skin is melanated, but it cannot protect against that beast of a sun out in that solar system. So, my number one go-to product is sunscreen. I've been using stun look, sunscreen since 2014 so three years um is that right three years no i've been using sunscreen since 2012 so um i was interning or i was working at wilhelmina modeling agency in new york and this one girl i was telling her i was going to ghana and you know the sun is right near ghana is on the equator so the sun is harsher and you know no one wants to even though I'm, i have deep toned skin no one wants to get a tan where you look like you dipped your skin in like oil and it's this unevenness and it's not smooth it's not beautiful it's not delicious um so me and my mom are trying to figure out a sunscreen for me to use and my co-worker she suggested lancome bionfe um uv 50 plus sunscreen this is yeah super fluid facial sunscreen um what is it you Use it 15 minutes before you get out in the sun and 80 minutes after swimming or sweating. Um, and you use it again after every two hours. Now, I'm wearing makeup, so I'm not doing all of that. But I am putting it on, like this is part of my daily routine. I use my moisturizer and then I use my sunscreen. And when I went to Ghana, like, you know, you're kind of expecting, you know, they say like, you know, you get burnt or whatever. But when I got back, my skin was still the same skin tone, maybe a little darker, but not this like burnt, ashy, unevenness. So this absolutely works. If you've been on my channel for the past few years, I, you know, stand by this. This is the only sunscreen I use. This is the only sunscreen I re-up on. Is it organic and natural? No. Does it work? Yes. Like I... And I feel like I'm just not ever going to transition to organic like makeup and, and they don't make sunscreens um, for people of color that are organic and natural because there's one sunscreen, I think it's called Kula and that is organic and natural but it came out on my skin blue. I'm not trying to look like Blue's Clues up in here, no. So this goes on nice and light. It blends very well my skin, doesn't leave you ashy, doesn't leave you looking white for my deeper brown girls. But yes, there is this false stigma in the community that we should not be using sunscreen and this is false. We are human beings battling against that star sun that literally can bake an egg on, on catch, a, catch a baked egg on a, a fried egg. Like, 
on the sidewalk on a good hot day the fact that it can do that to that then it can do that to us and yes the number one um people who are affected by uh skin cancer are it's white men white women and i think it's black men and then black women so yes black women are at the bottom of the totem pole but still it's self-care and it's important and also to just break that stigma that black people don't need sunscreen or latinos don't need sunscreen or that like yeah if you're you're darker or, or indians don't need uh sunscreen everyone needs sunscreen so this is my number one go-to beauty product it keeps my skin even every time i travel like yes i'll get a like a cute little chocolate tan but i won't be burnt and i won't be uneven by using this i don't remember the price point i will leave the link below but um yeah this is my number one go-to beauty secret is sunscreen so i thank you guys for tuning in what are some products used below that a lot of people are like no you can't use that because you're a person of color or you shouldn't use that because you're a person of color like what is some stuff that you use that you're just like no one else in your family uses comment below and um, let me know if you've tried this and if there are other sunscreens out there that are great for people of color great for deeper skin tones good price point please leave it in the comments below and i'll see you guys next video peace